नमस्कार वेलकम टू द महाराष्ट्र यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ हेल्थ साइंसेस एज द वाइस चांसलर ऑफ दिस यूनिवर्सिटी इट्स इंडीड अ प्रिविलेज फॉर मी टू वेलकम यू ऑल एज द यूनिवर्सिटी स्टार्ट इट सिल्वर जुबली सेलिब्रेशन ओवर द इयर्स द यूनिवर्सिटी हैज अचीव अ लॉट इन द टर्म्स ऑफ मेडिकल एजुकेशन इन एवरी फैकल्टी ऑफ मेडिकल वी हैव an amazing history of 25 years through my predecessors and we hope to achieve much more in the coming 25 years an important decision was taken by the government of india to establish an independent health university in each state to cover training in all fields and faculty such as medicine dental nursing and ayush on the same lines Maharashtra University of Health Sciences was established on June 3 1998 in Nashik 25 years ago there was a shortage of medical healthcare professionals in the state with just 10000 students this university was started today with affiliated 496 colleges affiliated with us and a lack over students studying in the various fields of healthcare we are producing adequate doctors the advantage of this was seen during covid and the contribution of the state was at the international level highly appreciated the state has become self sufficient in every way in the healthcare sector late dr dayanand dorgankar was the first vice chancellor who had to start from scratch and he emphasized on uniform curriculum reforms of examination system and empowerment of colleges with several challenges and very few members in his team he also initiated the construction of his university building during the tenure of the second vice chancellor dr ravindra bapat the construction of the university picked up speed and the university structure was completed as well as additional manpower was approved he emphasized on availability of academic resources and expert faculty in the university during his tenure he also planned an ambitious project for interdisciplinary research in various branches of health sciences and also created a separate department for it in the following period professor dr nidula farke held the post of vice chancellor of the university with establishment of university departments like genetics medical education etc the university made great strides under dr farke's vision dr mithila farke established a new scheme for accreditation of affiliated colleges and a regional center for universities atkt photocopies of answer sheets were done during dr mithila's time giving some relief to the students subsequently dr vishwanath upasani Dr Nilima Shirsagar and Dr R Krishna Kumar were temporarily given charge of the post of vice chancellor later the post of vice chancellor of the university was handed over to professor Dr Arun Jamkar who is also known as a popular teacher expert surgeon and writer who achieved ISO 9000 2008 certification for the university with his management skills He also established the bioethics chair Dr Dilip Mahesekar followed him as the VC he implemented various initiatives during his tenure which were student centric and he also emphasized on digitization of processes many schemes such as personality development training for teachers and students business guidance for students communication skills sports scholarship social awareness were implemented during this period for some time the post of vice chancellor was held by mr eknath davle and dr nitin karmalkar on november 1 2021 lieutenant general madhuri kanitkar on super annuating from the army medical corps was entrusted with the charge of vice chancellor of the university The most important achievements of this period is the recent approval by the government for the construction of the Maharashtra Postgraduate Medical Education and Institute. With 
great efforts by the team at MUHS, the Maharashtra Postgraduate Institute was started last year with 52 students undertaking postgraduate studies in various clinical specialties. There was a long felt need of a medical college with the university in Nashik and the government has made 31 acres of land available to us. We are extremely happy that soon a new medical college will be built on campus along with a hospital which will see a government institute coming up in Nasik for the first time. Are the new medical college with an enrollment capacity of about 100 students and its attached 430 beds hospital in the university premises. At the same time, a state-of-the-art genetic testing lab and counselling centre has been started in Pune for diagnosis of genetic diseases and cancer. It would also train healthcare workers in the newer techniques and benefit poor needy patients. The administrative building at Chhatrapati Sambhajinagar, the divisional centre of the university, has been completed. NAC accreditation, upon Vidya Pita Suru Kelelehi, Tasas NAC Sail, Yatikani Nirman Karun, Vidya Pita Sas Naveta Sarva, Vidya Pitan Sati Sudha, Yatikani Quality Assurance Sales, upon Stapan Kelelehi, Ani Najik Chas Karamade, Ya Vidya Pitala, A plus NAC accreditation Kasamil, Yasati Pratna Karatahu. The university has recently signed an MOU with large number of national laboratories and international universities including Microsoft to promote high quality teaching and research and facilitate the novel student summer internship program. Vidyarthana Kendra Bindu Manun Vidya Pitane Tanna Antarashtriya Patali Varsa Anubhav Dina Sati JJK Prahitna Kilit ते खूब वाखण न जोगे आहेत आणि सर्व हेल्थ सायन्स कॉलेजेस चे शिक्षक आणि विद्यार्थी यांना जे फॅकल्टी एक्सचेंज आणि स्टुडंट एक्सचेंज प्रोग्राम्स हे आहेत त्याच्यामधून त्यांचा खूब फायदा होत आहे शैक्षणिक व प्रशासकीय पातळीवर सुद्धा खूब मोठ्या प्रमाणात फक्त संख्यात्मकच नाही तर गुणात्मक सुद्धा खूब मोठा बदल या विद्यापीठामध्ये दिसून येतो a student welfare department is functioning in the university, keeping in mind the welfare of the students. In that the most sensitive department is the examination department. We are conducting examination in two sessions, summer and winter session. And in each session, around 70 to 80,000 students are appearing for the examination. Since last 25 years, we are conducting the examination as per the rules and regulation of the respective councils. I am very happy to share to you that now we are doing the digital evaluation and in a digital evaluation we are expecting that result must be declared within a week time. Over the past 25 years there has been a huge change in the university premises with the MUHS Parivar adding to its development. What was once a barren and hilly area has now turned into a paradise. This is seen very well in the satellite images over time. The campus of Maharashtra University of Health Sciences is now green and rich with plantation, rainwater harvesting and drip irrigation in place. Water sources have been created with conservation work on the university premises improving and supporting biodiversity. This can very well be experienced in the sensory garden. Vidya Pita Cha Parisara Madhe Savvedna Garden Apan Nirman Ke Lili Ahe Jaya Thikani Aple Panche Nyanindri Ahe Manjach Drushti Shwasan Tacha Nantar Karn Twacha Ahe Jashe Aple Sensory Organs Ahe Tya Pramane Apan Path Senses Garden Yaya Thikani Nirman Ke Lili Ahe Daily yoga classes are also organized for staff. Apart from administrative buildings, a grand auditorium has also been constructed in the university premises. The auditorium with modern facilities has a seating capacity of 1100. A solar panel system has been installed for the lighting of the auditorium. There is also a gym in this area. A comfortable guest house has also been built for the visitors. V 
various laboratories have been established at this place. विद्यापीठाचा वित्त व लेखा विभाग हा पूर्णतः कॉम्प्युटराईज करण्यात आलेला असून विद्यापीठाच्या वतीने विद्या शिक्षक व विद्यार्थ्यांसाठी विविध ऑनलाईन सुविधा उपलब्ध करून देण्यात आलेल्या आहेत संगणकीकृत कामकाजाच्या माध्यमातून हा विकास कार्यरत विभाग कार्यरत असून आधुनिक काळाशी आणि आधुनिक सुविधा व तंत्रज्ञानाशी हा विभाग जोडला गेलेला असून पुढील काळामध्ये देखील होणारे बदल साध्य करून आत्मसात करून हा विभाग कार्यरत राहील दास इन द लास्ट ट्वेंटी फाईव्ह इयर्स युनिव्हर्सिटी हॅज ग्रोन लीप्स अँड बाउंड इन ऑल फील्ड टुडे the university is celebrating its silver jubilee year with pride the university is ready to meet the educational challenges of the changing times i am extremely lucky to have inherited a great university with a strong foundation laid by my predecessors and a wonderful team in the hashtag muhs parivar but the present is exciting with new opportunities and great challenges the new education policy and the digital health mission is something we have to look, be ready for and muhs is ready we have a vision document prepared by all of us and are working hard wherein the thrust would be on research on new education technology digital health and what have you with an integrated approach to wellness and i look forward to that Jai Hind Jai Maharashtra Jai MHS